solutions to the problems. The problem is this. Our people are lost. Our people don't know their nationality. Our people, family structures are broken. The reason why we came here is because we all understand our people need to fix it. That's one thing we all understand. That's why black people are always on the news, because we're crazy. But guess what? The Bible says we're the chosen race. Listen, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to let you talk, and I'm going to let you talk. Just hold on. And if some have compassion, the Bible says when some people have compassion. Whenever you're teaching them or dealing with them, it says have compassion. I want you to hear this out. Since you told, I want you to hear this out. Come on. Making a difference. The Bible says making a difference. So some people, you have to understand how to deal with them, and you might have to become compassionate. But now listen to the next part. And others save with fear. The Bible says with other people that you do it, since you're hearing this out, with other people that you deal with, it says what? Save with fear. How do you save these other people with fear, the Bible says? Listen good to this. Pulling them out of the fire. Pulling them out of the fire. If I see you about to fall into a fire, I'm not going to say, hey, sis, come, it's a fire. I'm going to say, get out. Why? Because I got to save your life. And I had to scream at you for that. Now, why did the Bible give that analogy? Because the Bible is teaching us, when you deal with blacks and Hispanics, there's two types of spirits you have to have. With some of our people, you can be compassionate. You can deal with them. But with some of our people, you got to talk rough. That's how black people are. The Bible says, listen, read it again. And others say it with fear. Pulling them out of the fire. It says pulling them out of the fire. Why? Because there's an emergency. There's danger going on. What's the danger that's going on? I'm going to show you Ezekiel chapter 3. That's why we were in Memphis last week. Because black people need the answer. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. Really? No, of course. We, oh, we definitely show compassion. Definitely. So, listen, sis. If you are offended with anything we did, we apologize. We apologize. We're trying to win you over. That's our job is to win you over. So don't take it, any, don't take it the wrong way. It's not personal. It's strictly biblical. Listen. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man. I have made thee a watchman. Our job, sis, brothers, our job is that we're watchmen. Our job is to watch for danger. That's our job. Come on, read it again. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Unto the house of Israel. Who's the house of Israel? Blacks and Hispanics. Yes, we're the house of Israel. God says, I've made you watchmen. What are we doing? We're watching for the danger that's to come to us. Why? Because the secrets and prophecies of the Bible were given to us. So it's our job to read it and explain it to you. Come on. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning. What's that word I wanted? What did God just say to do to our people? Give them warning. Our job is to warn you. To warn you of what? If our people don't stop sinning, we will die. If we don't stop coming into adultery, what's going to happen? We're going to get infected with disease. A lot of our women, what do they do, sis? They have multiple baby daddies. They have sex with multiple men. And what does what's God's judgment for that? AIDS, gonorrhea, syphilis, herpes. That's why black people are number one in AIDS. Why? Because we have sex. I'm going to 
going to show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to show you what God is talking about. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Yes. I want to use your mic so I can say what I want to say. Say what you're going to say. I'm going to use my regular voice. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Like she was saying the thing about me and compassion when I was talking to the side. Right. It wasn't that you guys can't get the message across, like right. I said. It was about the tone of voice, the tone of, oh, right. tone of voice, the tone of language, the use of language you guys are using amongst the crowd in the periods that you guys want to get right, the message right, across. Right. Like, y'all ain't making much money. Other people are receiving over here. We're leaving. Y'all seem like y'all got a hate speech. And we're not getting it. It's angry. angry. It's all so angry. Y'all perceiving that what the fuck? Means, we know black people mad. What the fuck? And you know, you know what And you look, a second thing. What? How you said the black people that's on the news. Another thing, like I was telling you, yeah. that's mass communication. Right. That's only to confuse you and put scare tactics in your hat. Because if you go into a Mexican neighborhood, a white neighborhood, take them to if you go to the gas station, you pick up a damn magazine right. where they tell you all the shootings. Right. You look in North Ronda, not the North Ronda neighborhood, right. but those neighborhoods north of Chicago that don't ever make the news. Why not? Because that's not what they want to portray you. They want, okay, we've actually been going since right. that time. So now, if you stand there, they just want, okay. Okay, All now, over Chicago, people are getting killed. No, I understand. So, See, that's a whole other conversation. But listen, to, I want you to listen. But I was just saying because you referenced the thing to the news about black people. Revelation 12 and 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God. The Bible says now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of God. But listen good now. And the power of his Christ for the accuser of our brethren. Is cast down. The Bible says, "For the accuser of our brethren is cast down." Listen, good. Which accused them before our God day and night. Which accused them before our God day and night. Listen, good to this. Let's, let's just listen. Listen, come on. I'm gonna show you why, but I want y'all to listen first. Listen. Read that last part again. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Which accused them before our God day and night. So now, so listen, I'm gonna show you why we're in the predicament that we're in now. Give me Hosea chapter four. Because of lying, stealing, blood. Yeah. Hosea chapter four. So the reason why say it again. All praises. We heard you. Yes. You keep repeating yourself. What do you want from us now? Oh, this is what we're doing, sis. This isn't personal, like, we're here just for you. We're here for the nation. Okay, so we heard you. That's good. That's good. That's good. And guess what, sis? This is what we want. Our people to repent. That's right. That's what we want. Why? Because it's love. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you that we have it. I need you to listen. Listen. Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord. The Bible says that hear the word of the Lord. Listen good. Ye children of Israel, Come on. for the Lord had the controversy with the inhabitants of the land. The Bible says that the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Who are the inhabitants of the land? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Listen good. Because there is no truth. God says, God says, God says there is no truth. What else is God saying? Read. Your mercy. That God says there's no mercy. But God is going to explain the problems that he has with our people. I want you to listen. Your knowledge of God in the land. There's no knowledge of God in the land. For example, guess what? Guess what? Most people think Christ is white. Most people think Christ is white. A lot of our people think Christ is white. I'm going to show you what mercy is. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. But I need you to listen. I'm going to show you. Just listen. Just listen. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing. So God says, listen, the controversy that he has is the stealing, is the killing, is the lying. Read on. And committing adultery. And committing adultery. So this is the controversy that God has. Listen to read it again. Hold on, hold on, sis. Listen. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touches blood. So what does God say his problem is? Sin. 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 This is what we do, sis. We go to many communities. Many communities. All right, but that's you. You're one person. All right. So read this now. Give me Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. Listen good to this. Listen good to this. 
That's why we out here. A lot of our people don't know they're the Israelites. A lot of our people don't know they're the real Jews. But the Bible is here to teach you. God says you're the real Jew. God says you're the true Jews. That's love right there. Because we're going to show you love. Just listen good. Read. there, chapter 4, verse 6. My people. Who's God's people? Who is God's people? God's people are blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Listen. My people are destroyed. But God now says his people. He didn't say we're wise. He said, listen. When you deal with my people, they're destroyed. So that's why we came to the Bud Billiken Parade. That's to right. help edify, that's to help right. teach, to help establish. Read. My people are destroyed for lack of merit. That's why we came. That's why we were in Memphis last week. That's why we're in LA. That's why we're in Ghana. Right. That's why we're in Jamaica. Right. That's why we're in Haiti. Right. Right. It's to teach the commandments. That's, right. Right. that's our job. That's our job. That's right. Listen good now. Today is your day. You're going to learn that you're the children of Israel. Today you're going to learn you're the children of Israel. Hey, bring the bad bug back. Listen, 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 listen. Because thou has rejected knowledge. But let me show you something, brother. How did, listen, how did black people reject God's knowledge? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Give me Sirach chapter 23. I'm going to give me Sirach chapter 23. I'm going to show you how we rejected knowledge. Because guess what? All of us are in this because we're wicked. Don't worry about the money. I want you to listen. Don't worry about the money. It's not the problem. But see, that's the problem. You say all you want is money. We want to bring solutions to our people. It ain't about the money. It's about solutions. It's about law and order. That's the argument. So what, 2317? This is one of the problems in the black community I'm going to read. Come on. All our prayer is tweet to a whoremonger. The Bible is explaining what one of the problems is. God says all prayer is sweet to a whoremonger. Listen good. He will not leave off till he dies. The Bible says he will not leave off till he dies. Listen. A man that breaketh wedlock. You hear what the Bible says? It says a man that breaketh wedlock. Does not this happen in our community? What? Isn't there a lot of marriages that are breaking away? Aren't there a lot of children breaking away? Listen. Say thus in his heart. Who seeth me? I am compassed about with darkness. So what goes on in our community? A lot of our people don't understand marriage. A lot of our brothers don't understand how to respect a woman. A lot of our brothers don't understand how to Brothers and sisters, what we're showing you is what? If we apply the law, thou shalt not commit adultery, what's going to happen? There will be no spreading of disease. There will be no broken marriages. Because in our community, what do you find? All right. In our community, what do you find? You find adultery, you find murder, you find drug dealing, and you find gangs. The Israelites, why do we come here? To teach God's laws. Read this. Beholding all the ways of men, and considering the most secret part. Come on. He knew all things or ever they were created. Sis, let me ask you a question now. Let me ask you a question. We're not here to embarrass. And brother, let me ask you a question. We're not here to embarrass. We're here to give edification. That's right. Because listen, listen. I'm going to read the next verse. And I want you all to hear it. Because we all know somebody that falls in that verse. Listen. So also... After they were perfected, he looked upon them all. This man shall be punished in the streets of the city. I'm going to explain what I'm reading. I just want you to follow along with me. Just listen good. And where he suspected not, he shall be taken. Thus shall it go also with the wife that be with her husband. This is what I want. This is what I want, says. Listen good. It says, thus shall it go also with the wife that leaveth her husband. Let me ask you a question. Come up. Come closer. Sit. Come closer. Come close. It's all right. Come up. We don't bite. We don't curse people out. We teach God's law. Come, 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 come. Brother right here, come up. Come up. Come up. I don't like when the people are far. I like when they're closer. Let me ask you a question. The law of adultery. Should we keep that law? Sister right here with the pink shirt. The law of adultery. Should we keep that law? 
Thou should not commit adultery. Should we keep that law? Brother right here. Thou should not commit adultery. Should we keep that law? What? You say yes. Now, when you break thou should not commit adultery, what is breaking that? When you sleep with a married woman, what are some of the results of breaking the law of thou should not commit adultery? Somebody please fix the mic. What are some of the results of when you break the law of Thou should not commit adultery. Say it again. Pregnancy, brother, right here. You said what? Jesus, what? Oh, disease. I was like, Jesus got to do with that. Okay. When you break the law of thou should not commit adultery, what happens? You just show a relationship. I'm going to show you something. Listen good. Thus shall it go also with the wife that leaveth her husband. Thus shall it go also with the wife that leaveth her husband. Listen good, because guess what? A lot of people gonna get mad. Listen. And bring it in, and heir by another. And bring in children from another man. And bring in children from another man. Raise your hand if you've seen that before. Have you seen a woman sleep with another man and she's married? and then gets pregnant by the man she slept with. Guess what? They call it the Maury Povich Show, where he made millions of dollars off black people's adultery. Right. You telling me we don't need God's laws? You telling me we don't need God's laws? Yes, we do. So let's learn. Listen, for first, she had disobeyed the law of the Most High. A lot of black women don't understand of what the law of the Most High is. Black woman, you're the daughters of Sarah. Right. Listen. And secondly, she had trespassed against her own husband. A lot of black women don't realize there are laws that pertain to your own husband. A lot of black women don't realize there are laws that pertain to her husband. Listen. And thirdly, she had played the whore. Wait, what did the Bible just say? She had played the whore in adultery. The Bible now says she had played the whore. Read. In adultery and brought children by another man. You haven't seen this? All of us seen that. So what happens? What happens when it's... It does. It does. Men do that too. That's why I said the Maury Povich show made millions of dollars off of our own infidelity. The Maury Povich show, he makes millions of dollars off of our own infidelity. Huh? Say it again? Wait, hold on, hold on. Say that one more time. Women and men. See, sis. See, okay. I see what's going on. Okay, okay. Sis, remember. Remember, no, right, right, right. Oh, I, I know what the tape says. I did say what, I'm gonna tell you why. Because it goes for all of our people. Remember what I said to you early, it's not personal sense, it's strictly biblical. That's right. Listen, read it again. Teacher, for the first, she had disobeyed the law of the Most High. Now, I'm gonna tell you why I said women. Just, I please, I need you all to listen. I'm gonna tell you why I said women, read it again. Or first, she had disobeyed the law of the Most High. We're going to read that verse again, and we're going to stress a certain part. Read it again and read it slow. For first, she had stopped. Read it again. Stay with me. For first, she stopped. Listen to the words of the Bible. Listen to the words of the Bible. Listen. For first, she. The Bible says she. The Bible says she. Come on. She had disobeyed the law of the Most High. Uh -huh. And secondly, she had trespassed against her own husband. And thirdly, she had played the whore in adultery. And the Bible says she had played the whore in adultery. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth.
So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.